Now where did I bury those components? <laughs> Cursus and corporeal existence! I can see why most ancestors move on instead of haunting their descendants. My mortal memories are much harder to recall than I anticipated. Hmm. I don't remember where to find those components. Not exactly. Of course not! I buried the components we need in separate caches on the tower grounds. I just can't remember exactly where I put them. No matter. With your assistance, I'm sure we can find the right spots. Use my ghost sight. It will reveal the hiding places. Remember, okay. Tel Rendis is my place of power, despite Shalreni's attempts to make it her own. Here, I can easily use my magic through you. As long as you're willing. I placed sigils at the spots, but on a different layer of reality. Use my ghost sight, and you should be able to see them. The caches are buried beneath those locations. When you get close to a spot I recognize, I'll tell you to activate my sight. able to see my sigils through my ghost sight. Look around. There, see my sigil. I always liked this layer of reality. Dig here. Get there. I remember this old workbench. We can prepare the cloak of omission here. Place the components one at a time onto the enchanting workbench. Almost done. Now sprinkle the tincture. Excellent. Now take the cloak of omission. Go ahead and try it on. The cloak will mask your presence and hide your connection to the Prince of... You look amazing. Barely a hint of a dangerous connection. I should explain the particulars, though. Looks like a Telavani. Hmm, not a bad bit of work. You follow directions well. And the cloak looks perfectly dashing. Dashing, I say. Now let's head to Old Isra and meet up with Kirit Gedeng. She should have gotten you access to the Conclave by now. Did I? I don't recall. But if you're asking about the Cloak of a Mission, it could only shield you from so many scrying attempts. Eventually someone will notice you. But the enchantment should last long enough for us to get our hands on Shelreni. Mm, now that you mention it, yes. Gaden can get you on the access list, but you must play your part. Dunmer Law's a labyrinthine, Telvani especially. You need to invoke the proper statue to avoid suspicion. Just say the following to the sentry at the door. I hereby invoke the 26th statue of the Necron Agreement. And then demand entry to the Conclave. Can you remember that? Once we get inside, we can meet up with Kirit Gadein. Hmm. What could Shelreni be thinking? She's obviously counting on the support of two Daedric princes. But does she really expect them to pass? Okay. I hate this. Go back to Japan. So somebody's fighting seekers. Get back, you fetcher! Yep. Yep. That's it. That's our guys. As Master Shalreni's mouth, you are prohibited from entering the Conclave. But... but I, I must warn the Masters. Don't worry. Your treacherous Master will be dealt with soon enough. You... you must warn the other Masters. 
I can no longer stand by and do nothing while Master Sheldreni continues along this dark path. Her actions threaten the entire peninsula. Oh, only Saint Telvani is Kazid. You probably shouldn't, but that doesn't mean I'm lying. I admired Sheldreni for her skill and power. Thought she would help me rise in the ranks. But her ambition and contempt for her fellow Telvani will doom us all. Master Shelreni made the deal with not one, but two Daedric princes. Yeah, this we know. She plans oh, to already. use their help to eliminate all who oppose her so she can become Archmagister. The Masters won't listen to me. They don't understand the danger. I'm not sure. Master Shelreni stopped confiding in me. But I know how she thinks. She has no respect for the Masters or this Conclave. When they move to reprimand her, she's going to show them just how powerful she's become. It will be a bloodbath. The Master's Conclave is in session. All other business is on hold. Come back later. Necrom, hmm. Let me see. Ah, yes. You're listed as Curate Gadain's attending clerk. Oh, very good. You may go inside. I expect you'll find the curate in the assembly antechamber, as the attending magister declared the conclave for masters only. There's curate's good day. Really, yeah. I must. I insist, curate. You do realize I wield considerable influence as Master Norvora's mouth. Of course, but... I could do much for you and the Keepers. Now tell me, what do you think of my book? That's Master Norvora's mouth. We need to extract Gadain this instant. The Curate and I are busy, outsider. I am eager to hear what he thinks of my book, Ancestors of a Humble Mouth. It's a work in progress, but at least two booksellers have expressed interest. Come back later. How strange. As no one but masters are allowed inside, Master Norvora explicitly told me to wait out here until after the Conclave concluded its business. Well, obviously Master Norvora needs her spellbook. No master should ever meet her peers without being totally prepared. I'll go and fetch it at once. Thank you, my friend. Follow me. I know a place where we can talk privately. We can speak freely here. You arrived not a moment too soon, my friend. Before they decided to seal the hall, and I was trapped in that dreadful conversation with Mouth Elar, I found what we needed. Master Shelreni is here, and being held under guard until the Conclave begins. Ah, and now we come to the problem. Magister Gothran arrived Gothran. from Sadrath Mora to oversee the Master's oh, Conclave. Okay. He immediately expelled all but the Telvanni Masters and placed a ward on the door. There's no way to get into the assembly hall. Well, Gothran is pretty, pretty powerful. Sadly, but disabling again, a you ward can placed by a magister is beyond team. my capabilities. If you have any ideas, please share them. Otherwise, I fear the masters are on their own in there. A magister? To counter magister magic, eh? Good idea. Let's go disable the ward. Okay. Ward needs anchors. See them? One on either side of the door. I'll lend you my power to disable them. If she will, she has recommended she stay in bed for a team. We attend the conclave. Magister Guthrin is good, 
Understandable. But I'm better. As much as our Let's enter the assembly hall. Public appearances. They hate the thought of others gathering without them more. Too bad we're not allowed inside. I was hoping to see what punishment they could rise in the master shell or any. This is a closed session. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Ah, uh, it's a Gothrin. Now, Gothrin, surely such restrictions don't apply to a magister and his proxy. Mel the Mouthless, a spirit. No matter. I will not tolerate your antics. Nothing in our statutes precludes a dead magister from participating in a conclave. Now, hear what my proxy has to say. Very well. Step forward. First, Magister Gothrin arrives to take the reins of our conclave. And now the spirit of Magister Meln? I knew gathering the local masters all in one place was a bad idea. The Morag Tong's assistant. Oh, you certainly get around. While I appreciate what you did for the assembly, this is a matter for the masters and the magister. You really shouldn't be in here. While I mourn the loss of a valued servant, I am glad that you eliminated the spy that was stalking these halls. I was hoping to finally get on with this conclave when you and Meln showed up, though. Why is it that magisters complicate everything? <laughs> That's their job. Meln is dead. I knew it. Master Foes <laughs> owes me 200 gold. <laughs> they were betting who's, who's dead and who's not. I recognize you. From that incident with the ambitious lizard. Yes. And now you stand before me, representing one of my most annoying colleagues. Well, get on with it. What's so important that Magister Meln dares interrupt these closed proceedings? So this this happened in in a uh, Elder Scrolls Online's uh, Morrowind DLC. So this is like a throwback to the what happened before in a Morrowind, and this is pretty. Uh, interesting because uh, in other DLCs they di really didn't connect to other DLCs so except the uh, three DLC Morrowind, Clockwork City and Somerset. They had like continuous plot basically but it's rare that uh, other characters actually rem remember what you have been doing in se se uh, other, other DLC. So I think the quality of writing has been improving. And Magister Meln thought us so ineffective that he had to swoop in and save the day? How presumptuous of him. Do you really think one rogue master is a match for this assembly? So I heard. Hence the reason I decided to leave my comfortable tower and come all this way to personally take charge of this conclave. The masters will hear the charges, question the subject, and render swift judgment. Is that why you're here? To add another charge to Shell Rennie's list of crimes? Then so noted. Perhaps that's why she turned herself over without any fuss or bother, so that she can plead for mercy. Perhaps I'll be lenient. Perhaps not. Enough of this nonsense. I listened to the concerns of your Magister and heard his allegation. Now we are finished. Meln may stay if he wishes. That is his right. But you and the curate should go and leave us to our work. Over here. I forgot how boring my so-called peers can be. Pity Shell Rennie didn't eliminate a few more of my rivals before we noticed. <laughs> but your master, Meln. I have fond memories of his many antics. That's why I wanted a word with you. Your master has delayed these proceedings long enough. Master Shelreni reached above her station and must be dealt with. Anything that postpones that and increases the time I must spend in the company of my so-called peers will not be tolerated. Basically, her uh, Shelreni's crime was to get caught on the act, <laughs> not to, not to, not that uh, she actually murdered. That's that's not really a crime. Murder, you say? That is serious. I suppose anything can be expected from a master who makes pacts with Deidre. We really need to strip her of her rank and exile her. Well, if you must see her, she's being held in a meeting room down the East Hall. 
I don't understand this necessity for debate. If it were up to me, we'd get right to the vote. Nothing anyone has to say will change my mind about Shelreni. Now then, is Magister Meln really changed? <laughs> they don't want to be believe. Meln may have confused Magister Gothrin, but there's no provision for a dead Telvanni participating in a conclave. It's just not done. Is that a threat? Master Morena led Shelreni through the East Door for making similar pronouncements only a few moments ago. If that can happen to a master, imagine what's in store for a lowly mouth like you. What are you waiting for? Do what all good mouths do and converse with the masters in my stead. Masters... If you're intent on flouting Magister Gothbrin's authority, then I suggest you speak to Masters Foves and Norvora. Neither of them could keep a confidence if their lives depended upon it. But if anyone asks, you heard nothing from me. Eh. I wouldn't suggest disobeying the order of Magister Gothrin. I've seen him turn a retainer into a mud crab for a lesser infraction. Go on and take a look. I'll There's a meeting room just to the right. This must be where they're holding her. Shereni is gone, but what's that tipped over bottle over there? That's pure essence of dream. Let me cast a spell to see what happened here. Oh no. What... what was that? Just a little gift from the Prince of Dreams. Soon, you will do exactly as I say. You... you won't get away with this. I already have. And with your help, I'll get away with so much more. Now let's go attend the Conclave. My ascension requires participants, willing or otherwise. We must get to the Conclave. It's held in the Master's private hall to the north. Something's going on to the north. I think the Conclave is starting. Oh no. You stand accused of conspiring against your fellow Telvanni, murdering Melm the Mouthless, and consorting with Daedric Princes. How do you plead? A Telvanni doesn't plead. But and, I will kill they, you all. They haven't taken her, her stuff. Okay. okay. Shell ready. Cease your actions this instant. Use my ghost sight to disable the wards and get down there. Ancestors, I thought Shelreni killed you. Well, we should talk, Mouth of Mel. Basically, he, she can't die. Vestige uh, is just resurrected like a Daedra when she does. He, he or she. The Mouth of the Mouthless. I suppose you want me to say that you and Mel were right. That I should have taken Shelreni's threat more seriously. Well, let's pretend I said that and move on to what needs to happen next. Yes, quite a display. She used the Conclave to formally announce her intentions. Her spell would have killed everyone, and positioned her to challenge the Archmagister for rulership of the House. 
Luckily, I was on hand to save the local masters. Shelreni may be a powerful master, but I am a magister of the Telvani yep. Council. It was a simple matter to deflect her attack while the Conclave dispersed. Then, I stabilized the portal she fled through, assuming you would want to follow her. Really now, who do you think Meln consulted when he first invented his cloak of omission? I see the mark of Mora upon you. House Telvani wants no part in the machinations of Daedric Princes. Just make sure to kill Shelreni ah, when you find he's her. He's pretty smart. Master Morena revealed her inadequacies when she allowed herself to be captured. The other masters survived. In both cases, House Telvani won. If you plan to chase Shelreni, I suggest you leave now. I'm not going to hold that portal open forever. In all honesty, no. In case you haven't noticed, we of House Telvani are a superior lot. Sentiment and mercy rarely factor into our actions. Now, step lively. That portal will close as soon as my attention wavers. Ooh, and I feel a yawn coming on. I'm with you, friend. We Why do I mean a strong? We should look around. Two years ago. Was there anything in those papers about Master Shell Rennie or where we might find her? Hmm. She writes about how Torvasard came to her, indoctrinated her into Vermina's service, how he was consumed with restoring something that was either stolen or lost, and how he insisted they find this ancient shrine. So they sent the Malachite mined from the Alavelis quarry here. And she discusses how the hidden kindred were formed to provide the workers needed to accomplish the restoration. Somehow, rebuilding a Vermina statue is the key to Torvasard's goal. This must be where that original memory took place. Where Vermina and Periite think Hermaeus Mora wronged them and stole whatever it is they now seek. Let's keep going. That restored statue and Master Shelreni must be somewhere in this old ruin. We must find Shelreni and stop her from There's completing Shelreni this right. And Master Morena, we need to free her. My black book! Looks like Shelreni got past my safeguards. Shelreni is using the restored statue as a focus for her right. An aspect of Vermina? That's not good. Wait! Help me restore what was taken from us all! Laser beam. And one of you will serve just as well as a sacrifice. No need to involve outsiders, Shelreni. Ah, <laughs> betrayal. Sacrifice and deems you a worthy vassal. I regret the bloodshed, but soon Moore's injustice will be undone. With this vessel, 
I can enter Apocrypha and strike at Moore's heart. With me, my faithful. We have to warn Apocrypha. Let's return to the Necron Bindery and find Laramel. Hold still, and I'll open a portal back to Necron. Neither Scrooge nor I can feel Hermaeus Mora's presence. We both find this unsettling. Good, you are here. Both Scrooge and I felt a sudden disturbance in the tides of fate. Something terrible has happened in Apocrypha, and Scrooge and I no longer feel the presence of the one who knows. Another significant event in the annals of fate, and I missed it. But Master Shelreni is dead. And Vermina did what? <laughs> Start from the beginning, Proxy. What happened at the Master's Conclave? So that was Shelreni's plan. Use whatever power the Princess provided to eliminate her rivals and move up in rank. I am glad she failed. But what happened after that? And Blightcrown decided to complete the rite anyway by sacrificing Shelreni instead. Ruthless but in keeping with a follower of Periite. And you say this allowed Vermina to possess Shelreni's corpse? What happened next, Proxy? They cannot. Not usually. Hence all the trouble that Torvasard and his allies went through to reach this point. At least you saved the Telvanni Masters and recovered Meln's Black Book. Well done. While I ponder next steps, take this. You earned it. Yeah, uh, Hermes Mora was part of the Coldham Harbor Compact, but Bairmina wasn't. So she, she can use the cheat menu, basically. Necrom Senimoy. Both Scrooge and I felt the tides of fate churn and boil. Worse. Neither of us has been able to commune with Hermaeus Mora since the Black Book's rite was completed yeah, at you, the you said that shrine. already. And you say you saw Shalreni's body walk into Apocrypha, giving Vermina access to Apocrypha and a host to work through. They must know where to find the memory they seek, or they have a good idea where to look. Apocrypha is infinite. Without fate to guide us, we are lost in the dark without a candle. Lightcrown and Torvasard have ways to avoid detection. Only one viable option presents itself. We must ask Master Shelreni where Vermina has taken her body. Will you see this through, Proxy? Before the disaster Mora foresaw comes to pass. Fortunately, we have two conduits to spirits not yet bound for Aetherius at our disposal. Magister Meln and Kirit Gadain. Speak to Meln first. He obviously knows what happens when a Telvanni mage dies. Aetherius is the immortal plane. Okay. When a person dies, their spirit moves on to that realm unless something prevents that from happening. A violent death, perhaps, or because the spirit still has tasks left undone. Shelreni fits both categories. And she's a Dunmer. Interesting. This is, this is taking pretty interesting turn now. You know how you can feel the warmth and know the sun is above you, even if you never look up. That is what Scrooge experiences every day in the service of her master, and what I sense when I commune with the one who knows. Now, it just feels empty. Uh, Scrooge is referred as her. Perhaps. We know Blightcrown used a corrupting combination of pestilence and dream to avoid detection in the Panopticon. And he was trying to increase its potency. Maybe the right did more than open a path. Maybe it cut Mora off from his own realm. Mm, interesting. 
What Emmaus Mora foresaw was always about an assault on Apocrypha. Vermina and her allies want to recover the memory that was stolen from them. But the way she is going about it will doom us all. We need to determine her destination and stop her. Basically, then again, you can cut off Daedric Prince from the realm or realms. I mean, there's a president, and it's it's uh, from the semi. semi-canonized uh, story of uh, uh, the trial of Vivek uh, where, where the, it, it ends by Vivek actually banishing Azura out of the worlds uh, and collapsing uh, gateways to her realm, Moonshadow so I suppose it's possible Leremil's idea is a good one Master Shelrini has the answer we seek, and I know how to reach her. No Tilvani master worth their weight in Kwama Cuttle would relinquish their hold on this plane without a fight. I have no doubt we can contact Master Shelrini's spirit. Whether we can get her to cooperate, well, that's an entirely different matter. As the curate can tell you, Necron forbids summoning the dead. But there's no regulation against the dead choosing to speak yeah, to you. Yeah, which is done by don't have to religion. summon her any spirit. We can go to her and simply request an audience. Same place you found me. In her tower, of course. We must go to Telbaro and search her sanctum. If her spirit lingers, she'll haunt there. Though, I'm better take a dame with us. If she's become a vengeful spirit, his expertise might be required. Meln, we can't just summon the dead whenever we please. It's forbidden. Uh, yes, yes. Summoning is an affront to your order. But if the spirit is already there... If I help you, I could jeopardize my standing. We would not ask this of you if the situation was not dire. I... Of course I'll help, Laramil. I'll return to Apocrypha. See if I can find Vermina while you chase spirits. Not like I've got anything better to do. Good luck at Telbaro, my friends. Return here with whatever you learn. Dealing with displaced spirits is very much frowned upon by the Keepers of the Dead. Uh, displaced I'll help, spirits. because the stakes are great. But it goes against every iota of my training. Yeah, this is, this is the question I have. That's an aspect of our beliefs, but not the primary component. And it's different when you visit the catacombs and a spirit appears before you. I suppose if Shelreni decides to speak to us, that shouldn't violate the Codex too badly. Okay, so this is actually cl clarifying something that was uh, a pretty hot take with the role players. Indeed. The recently departed are often confused, and that confusion can turn violent. I much prefer to deal with the spirits of our ancient ancestors. They may be cantankerous, but they've had enough time to reconcile to their undead existence. The tower's locked tight. We need another way inside. Telvani Towers always have more than a single ingress and egress. Look around. Over there. Just let me... There. Easy enough for a Magister to remove a Master's Ward. Let's go inside. Shelrenny's hey. private study. Her presence is strong here. My ghost sight allows you to see it. Move closer, and I'll try to get her to manifest fully. Great. 
Legion is suffering. Let me try to calm her. Have you come to gloat? To see how far the mighty Shalreni has fallen? I would have led House Telvanni to new heights. Instead, I lost everything. All my work unfinished. My legacy in ruins. This is your fault, outsider. You and those duplicitous Daedric princes. Now why in the name of my despicable ancestors would I even consider such a notion? You're my enemy. I'm content to sit back and watch as Vermina and Periag steal back whatever they think Hermaeus Mora took from them. You know nothing of the Telvanni outsider, or of me. But I will admit that I hate it when a greater power reneges on a mutually advantageous agreement. Frankly, my role in all this was more difficult than what I requested <laughs> of the princess. Yeah. A bit, a bit salty. I decrypted Meln's black book, perfected Blight Crown's subterfuge concoction, and performed the rite that gave Vermina access to Apocrypha. And all for a simple favor. Eliminate my competition, and elevate me to the rank of Archmagister. I see what you did there. Clever. I suppose I've been taken off the board. A bit of revenge on my part is probably called for. The path to the memory Vermina seeks lies through the infinite Panopticon. Torvasad will lead her there. It started with Torvasad and his dream of something lost long ago. He needed someone to acquire Meln's Black Book and perform the rite. In return, he would help me achieve my dream of becoming Archmagister as long as I pledged myself to Vermina. Silent, you say? Then my enhanced subterfuge concoction worked. <laughs> I told Blightcrown I could do it. I took Blightcrown's mix of disease and dream and, with a few adjustments to the right, enhanced its ability to hide them a thousandfold. If Mora has gone silent, it means it affected him, too. Cut him off from his own realm. Am I a genius or what? Well, that's, that is a genius. Oh, fear not. You can't separate a Daedric prince from their realm for very long. Yeah. Should last just long enough for Vermina to get whatever she's after. Of course, who can say what will happen when a realm and its prince are sundered even briefly? Mm, yeah. Not good. Truth be told, I never much cared. Yeah, I know this. All I wanted was to do what was asked of me and get my reward. Instead, I got a dagger in the back from that disgusting blight crown. They believe Hermaeus Mora stole something from them. From all of us, really. It involves Torvasad's dream. He had vague visions of a Vermina shrine, believed it was important. So he asked Vermina to help him recall the entire dream. When she failed, he expanded his list of allies. That's where the hidden kindred came in. Look, maybe Mora stole Torvasad's favorite sweet roll recipe. Probably. I wouldn't put it past the Prince of Fate. He collects knowledge like House Lalu hoards gold. All I know is Vermina and Periide want the memory back, but Torvasad wants it more. Torvasad behaves like a broker, bringing disparate parties together for mutual benefit. In truth, I now believe this is all about Torvasad. He has his own agenda. Anyway, he convinced the princes to set aside their differences and work together. I can't absolve you of your transgression, spirit, but I can grant you peace. Eternal disappointment, more likely. <laughs> Let's return to Necrom and tell Laramil what we learned. I wonder if we can even find the Infinite Panopticon again. Let's rendezvous with Lyramel at the Necron Bindery and see what she thinks about all this. That was much more intense than the ancestor visits I participated in at the Catacombs. Anyway, let's go find Lyramel and tell her what the spirit said. She'll be able to make sense of it. I know she will.
we need to ride. Or re recall. Calm yourself, Scrooge. I am sure Apocrypha is not as bad as you say. Ah, Proxy. Tell me what happened at Telborough. Well, do you want good or bad news? It was terrible, mortal. Some of the realm's Daedra have gone insane. And I still can't hear or make contact with the Great Eye. If you have better news, share it with Laramil now. Scrooge returned from Apocrypha with disheartening news. While my efforts at research have been marginally effective at best. Tell me you have something better to report. The Infinite Panopticon. First they sought a memory to alter. Now they seek... what? Another memory? And can they even find the entrance again? Well, we have a destination. Now all we need is a plan. What research I was able to accomplish tells me that Vermina will be a formidable opponent. But in order to enter Apocrypha without Mora's consent, she requires an anchor and a shield. In this case, Master Shalreni's body. That Shalreni's body is mortal. If we destroy it, I do not believe that even Blightcrown's concoction will hide Vermina from the one who knows. Of course, there is also the matter of Apocrypha gone amuck. But one problem at a time, I think. Edane, this will be dangerous. I would feel better if you remain here, out of harm's way. I swore to retrieve the relic, and I can't stand the thought of you facing this danger without me. Um, all of you, really. <laughs> Vomitous. <laughs> Let us meet at the location where we first entered the Infinite Panopticon. While the entrance never appears in the same place twice, I have an idea that might just turn this to our favor. I am not certain. The ritual I utilized earlier is not something I dare to perform again so soon. But there is another option, one I have only read about, but never attempted myself. Let us forge ahead and see what fate has in store for us. Now, prior to this, my most complicated day involved misplaced grave urns, obnoxious relatives, and the occasional ancestor spirit who was out of sorts. I'm not sure what I have to offer once we return to Apocrypha, but I'll help in any way I can. <laughs> And this is nice that uh, developers have uh, had have given feet to the characters, so they actually walk around uh, from place to place. As I feared, the entrance to the Infinite Panopticon has moved. As is its nature, which means we have failed and reality is doomed. I refuse this outcome. Fate, bend to my will. Laramil, be careful. There is no time. The Panopticon must exist. Here, I command it. Okay, she's brute forcing it. Laramil, you did it. The Panopticon is open. I was not sure if that would work, Proxy. It weakened me. It will be up to you to safeguard us against whatever awaits inside. Like Scrooge, I feel the agony rippling through the very fabric of Apocrypha. How that will manifest, I hazard to guess. I think Vermina's presence has somehow intensified White Crown's corruption. We can't make the presence of a rival danger prince. Something else is happening here. This place feels ancient. Like no one's been here in an the eternity. The of right and concoction worked splendidly. We are hidden, and Mora suffers. I see Mora the Eye of Mora above us. That's where we need to go, Mora. I have a final gift to deliver to the 
very core of Apocrypha. Light ground. Did he say something about an eye of Mora? Eye of Mora. North Light ground. We need to reach their Mina and destroy him and his body. Mortal, we need to Mother talk. Morrowind has her eye on you. Light Crown's a threat, but Vermina's a prince. We should follow Vermina and Torvasard into the Eye of Mora. I have no clue which memory of Hermaeus Mora this particular eye contains, but we should go in and do what we came here to do. Find Vermina and destroy Master Shelreni's body. Without the protection it provides, Mora should be able to pinpoint her. You're right, I don't hear the Great Eye. I think that has something to do with Vermina's presence, Blight Crown's corruption, and the rite they completed to enter the realm. It's just a guess, but if we solve one problem, it should help. So this is basically a bit like uh, the original uh, game's uh, assault on the Gold Harbor when, when actually there were stuff that happened between between Meridia and and uh, Molag Ball. Now, mortal, step into the Eye of Mora. Weird teleport. Listen carefully, mortal. Vermina's power is limited here. Listen carefully, mortal. Vermina's Cat power camera is limited here. This isn't her realm. It's only due to the necromancy they used on Shelreni's body that she made it this far. She's placed a dream around us, but the true memory is still here. Vermina hasn't been in here very long. She didn't have time to craft a perfect dreamscape to hide within. Look for flaws in the illusion, the cracks in the facade. We're inside one of the Great Eye's secret memories. That's just an echo of him, part of the memory. Like I said, Vermina's overlay of dream stuff isn't perfect, and we can take advantage of that. Let's see if we can spot any flaws we can exploit. Good idea. If you can find the weak points, I can break them open and expose the true memory beneath. Of course, knowing what the Great Eye values, that will probably drive us insane. <laughs> Took me centuries to recover the last time that I... Uh, once again, Melm to the rescue. When you get close to a flaw, you okay, now, now I can to spot it. collect them. With regret, I did what I had to do. Sealed inside the glyphic of shattered reflections. Who oh, dares invade my private memories? Yeah. We got what we came here for, Torvasad. This way! How dare Vermina enter my realm? Fight her! Protect the three glyphics. Go and enter the mythos. Now we got in. Basically, I should always check check everything here, but that's kind of slowing me down. Beneath the Icor Sea. Stop, Marmina. Well, that's probably really easy. Not. Pay for the damage she has brought on my realm. 
What is that cliffing? Took off the worst effects of Vermina's corrupting presence, but not soon enough. The intruders have fled, but the vaults of the Clific. You must determine if the secret remains secure. Not just any Clific, one of three primordial Clifics that, in total, contain the entirety of the memory. I made everyone forget. Yet, a memory that, if restored, will destroy reality. Enter the vault. Check on the glyphic! That which I cannot see. The corruption coursing through Apocrypha continues to weaken me. I must do everything I can to maintain a connection to my realm. Enter and examine the glyphic. Give you permission to gaze upon this portion of the memory. Well, no, no. Well, anyone else isn't going to see it. Isn't that the yeah, sure. But I'm, I'm the only one who is going to see it. Even Hermes Mora can't see it. It cannot be avoided. Fate's chosen must make sure the glyphic is secure and the memory intact. We shall talk again. When you are done, examine the glyphic of hidden paths. It will hidden reveal paths. its portion of the secret to you. Regrettably, there is no other way to determine if the glyphic remains intact. But fate will survive a slight fraying of its fabric. Interesting. Now, Interesting. go! Voiceover said that hidden paths, but the uh, text says lost memories. Six are the walking ways. Paths to the guard. Examine the cliffic and see how this all began. Chosen, it cannot be avoided. Why have you called us all together, Prince of Fate? We must deal with this problem, Dreamweaver. I have seen what happens if we do nothing. Already the threads of fate unravel. They have no regard for the chaos they can cause. What I needed to spark my memory, uh, I will restore Batman the Gambit. Lord of Secrets. I will restore it all. Torvis, only one of the unseen could evade my sight here. One of the un Chosen. unseen. We must speak. One of the unseen. My power remains diminished due to the toxins Periot's followers. Polluted Apocrypha with. But you helped me break free of the worst of the miasma. You saw the contents of the Clific of Hidden Paths. Hidden Paths. As did Torvisard. I did not expect that. Not yet. One thread in the tapestry snapped, but. Two more remain. If you can keep my enemies from unsealing the final two glyphics, there is still a chance to preserve Apocrypha and the rest of reality. You saw how this began. The Great Omission. Yeah, you called Torvasat one of the unseen. Just something from very long ago. Something I did not expect to encounter ever again. It is not important. Not yet. Not yet. Right now, fate requires a champion, mortal. So basically, he can't see everything. And that's kind of a problem because those who 
he can't see, do us do can do stuff. Follow your heart. Return to Laramil. Consult with her. Defeat those who oppose us. Save the world. You will know the best course of action when fate requires it. Now I must conserve my strength. Apocrypha is under attack, and I feel its pain. Leave this memory mortal. Take the portal and return to your allies and ciphers, Midnight. 